Were you under the influence of drugs or alcohol that impaired your ability to understand what you were doing? It could have been medication, yes. Okay. What, what medications were you taking in about uh, January of 2003? Could have easily have been pain medication because I had some serious injuries on tour. Okay. On, on what tour? I had a serious fall. It was, uh, I'm not sure if it was the tour. It was a show that we did, uh, a benefit show. And I had, I had an accident also at home. So I'm sure it's uh, something to do with that. Okay. And uh, so is it your testimony today that um, you gave a power of attorney to Dieter Weisner and Ronald Conitzer when you were under the influence of prescription medication? Could have been, probably. So that's probably? Probably, yes, okay. probably. Were you uh, impaired by the taking of prescription medications or something else at the time you signed these two documents? Could have been. Okay. Is that your best recollection, is that you signed these while impaired, not knowing what they meant? Maybe say so, but I'm not, I don't remember them. Weren't impaired by the taking of prescription medication at the time you signed this? Could have been, I, I don't know. Okay. How long during 2003 were you impaired through the, because of the taking of prescription medication? I don't know. Was it most of 2003? I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. Did, did Dr. Farsheim prescribe that medication for you? Not that, no, it wasn't Farsheim. I think it was a local. March 31, 2003, were you still impaired because of the taking of prescription medication? Could have been. Okay. Now, during the period of time you were impaired by the taking of prescription medication, was this an impairment that lasted like all your waking hours or did it come and go? comes and goes, not all of your waking hours, of course not. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. Now, during the period of time you were taking this medication where you weren't impaired, did you uh, ever tell one of your advisors that you were concerned about your impairment and they better watch what you're signing during this period of time? Not that I recall. As of July 3rd, 2003, were you still at times impaired because of the consumption of prescription medication? I'm not sure. It's possible you were still impaired? It could be. It could be. Do you think you were impaired when you remember writing, I'm sorry, do you think you were impaired when you wrote MJ Decide? I don't know.